Moving on, Brazil has become the second country after the United States to cross 100,000 COVID-19 deaths with nearly 3 million infections. The country's coronavirus caseload has crossed 2.1 million with more than 43,000 deaths. Globally, the COVID-19 pandemic has taken over 726,000 lives with more than 19.5 million infections. More details in this report. The new coronavirus is tumbling records, overwhelming healthcare systems, and rolling back hopes of economic revival in the Americas. U.S. President Donald Trump's desperate push to open the economy has hit a wall with the devastating second wave ripping through the country. Trump has signed executive orders to provide more relief to Americans after failing to reach a deal with Congress. In the current negotiations, we have repeatedly stated our willingness to immediately sign legislation providing expanded unemployment benefits, protecting Americans from eviction, and providing additional relief payments to families. Democrats have refused these offers. The situation in Chile, too, is now getting out of hand. Today, we have arrived at 10,000 deaths. From our hearts, we feel for their families for those who miss and love those who have gone. And even though they have gone, they will of course be remembered. We regret that this pandemic has caused us to lose so many loved ones. Germany is witnessing a worrying resurgence in cases as rallies against mandatory mask wearing add to Berlin's problems. Over in Asia, cases in South Korea and China refuse to go away as local clusters continue to pop up. Australia is struggling to keep its economy afloat as the most populous state of Victoria reported its deadliest day despite a stringent lockdown. But there is some good news coming out of New Zealand, where the country has marked 100 days without a domestic transmission of the virus.